Hi everyone, my name is Renier, and I'll be your tour guide for another Unity Free tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about shaders, light mapping, and general overall improvement of quality of your game. Uh, hopefully helpful tips and tricks for people who are not too familiar with Unity or starting out, and hopefully I help someone out. So, I'll start out with uh, light mapping. Light mapping is essentially putting on a, a texture of fake light, uh, baking in light. Um, you see this wonderful model gone let's put in the new model in health center and we'll just put it right there uh, there's two things you have to make sure to accept uh, light mapping is on the model itself it has to generate light map UVs checked off and then in your scene it has to be checked as static now after that you can go to Windows light mapping Unity has this wonderful little tool uh, that I discovered uh, you can click on renderers and it'll put a search filter on all the models in your scene. Uh, I have the health center highlighted. You can go to bake. Uh, you can play with these settings. Uh, you can go see Unity's documentation. It's not that great, but hopefully it'll give you an idea what you can play with. And you can cl click bake scene. Now this bar goes up and then after that's done in the corner here, it's going to keep going. Alright, so you can see that the shadows are now a texture. It looks really nice. Uh, the The engine doesn't have to render the 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 shade, and it's not as jaggedy, and it looks pretty realistic. It's good for objects that don't move. Now I have a couple. Let's erase the search filter, and I have a couple directional lights just to light up the things that it moves. Uh, so the rest of the scene looks good and then I have these lights that just sets up ambience in the hallways. Now uh, this is a uh, a web version so web versions are defaultly to run and build in the fastest graphical settings so you can go to uh, uh, edit project settings quality and it brings up this uh, grid here and up here is all the different platforms so I've unchecked all the different settings and I've made my own called Extreme and I've set everything to the highest. So now it's forced to build and run in the highest quality and as you can see it looks pretty good. Alright with that uh, let's talk about shaders. Now the documentation on Unity is very scattered and the, the language and the, and the definitions are very different from what they actually have in Unity. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the, the definitions in Unity as they're shown, and uh, I'll, I'll leave a, a small link to a, a file that you guys can download of my own notes on how I remember what to use for shaders. Now you can make your own shaders, that's something I haven't learned yet, so if anyone can help me out with that, that would be fantastic. Uh, so let's go to my health center in materials, and you have all these different materials. Uh, we'll go to the exterior glass where are these things and this list here seems overwhelming but let's go through it so I'll just bring up my paperwork here all right so the I'll go from the order of the less taxing for the computer to the most taxing so the first one is unlit it's essentially just a texture light doesn't affect it it, it just shows what you have in Photoshop no light no reflection no nothing after that we got vertex lit uh, regular flat looking texture affected by light which is alright. Uh, the one I use the most is just diffuse. Uh, it looks a little bit better. Diffuse detail is essentially that you could put a another thing over it like a poster or repeatable like a highway you could put the yellow lines over it and make it repeat. You can change the repeating pattern to like Uh, it doesn't show up. Anyway, uh, the next one is decal. Decal. Oh, oh, the detail. Uh, sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. The universe just exploded. Everybody died, and I apologize for that. Uh, flat re regular texture uh, adds a second texture for detail. So if you have smudges or dirt that you want to put like on bricks and stuff, that's what you would use diffuse detail for. Uh, decal is the one that if you want to put something over it like a, a poster or a repeating pattern that's a decent thing to do. Now I got leaves in all my windows. Uh, bump diffuse. 
this essentially it adds some depth uh we can go on the floor tiles you can see the, the difference i'll just put it uh, to unlit and you can see how flat they are so we've we've made it so the the tiles look more like uh they pop up a little bit it looks pretty good actually uh next one is specular we'll go back to the class uh specular specular just add shininess you got a bar here uh you can put it the shininess in the alpha so if you go in photoshop and you make another layer called alpha it'll take in consideration of the shininess more details in the documentation uh next one is spec uh bumped specular it's essentially as the floor so we'll go to the floor and we'll make it bump specular that's uh, the same thing but i get to control how shiny the floor gets Uh, next one is parallax diffuse. Now parallax is just pretty much in my mind a fancy word that means that you won't see a, a big difference, but in game, parallax diffused, boom. Uh, it the 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 reflection is relative to the camera. So if you move around, the reflection moves around. While specular just makes kind of like it's like a balloon. When you draw a balloon, you put that little shiny spot, but it doesn't move. But but parallax, it's like real time reflection. It's one of the most taxing ones. And then parallax specular is it shine. You could control the general shininess of it. Uh, then we got transparent shaders, which is what this glass what was set to. So transparent uh, diffuse. You can see through it. Uh, if you want transparent cutout I don't know why they buried it the cutout should should just be its own menu in here uh, transparent diffuse uh, if there's an alpha channel it'll tell you how clear it is uh, I use it for the trees actually uh, the leaves okay and then we got self illuminating essentially it's just like self it it, it it emanates light so that's that's kind of cool if you have like power-ups or something you want i'll use that for my floor lines in the game i'll show you in a minute uh reflective shaders uh about the same thing but you need a cube map essentially takes six pictures of everything around you and then it reflects it in a fake reflection in the windows so it's good for that but Unity Free doesn't have that, so you can. There's a few like third-party scripts out there you can you can use. Like they give you the options of creating a cube map, but there's no cube map photo taker, so it's it's kind of annoying that way. All right, so that covers the shaders. So I'll give you a little taste of the different. I'll put that back to transparent diffuse. And we'll switch scenes, and I'll give you a look at uh, my my floor lines. Garden. Yes. And as you can see, I go through the walls, but you, on the floor here, I have a self-illuminating line to just draw the user's attention. All right, with that, I hope I help someone out. Uh, any questions, just leave a comment below. Um, I'll leave a link to my profile, uh, my portfolio site down below. Uh, once again, thanks for watching.